This episode of Silver's Toy Shelf is sponsored by Vertix Crafts. If you want to see some awesome Transformers customs and repairs, look into the links in the description below. Hi all, Silvers here, and welcome to my review of Transformers 2007 Fast Action Butler Disc Blast Frenzy. So, I'm going to start off this review in the old mode, you will see why later. But first, some history. What were the fast action butlers, or as I like to call them, fobbers? Well, they were your typical baby gimmicky trash toy line that was supposed to supply grandma with all the movie characters in smaller and cheaper scale, and things that were filled with some wacky gimmicks! Like projectiles, lights, power punches, all for little Jimmy's birthday. <laughs> Frenzy here transforms into a radio, but it's not the same radio that he was in the movie. That probably because the toy was designed before they decided on the radio model. Frenzy has some nice details, like those molded in speakers, whole two Decepticon logos. That means that he's twice the body, all the little buttons, and he is tuned to the station Frenzy 9077. Does anyone know what this is a reference to? Okay, now let's get into the gimmick. If you press this button, he shoots out a projectile. In the shape of a disc. This is probably supposed to represent the CD shurikens he had in the movie. Now, let's compare Frenzy with The Last Night Barricade, Power of the Primes Frenzy, and my boy, Magazine Bumblebee. So, I think this is everything I can say about this mode. Maybe I can squeeze an articulation section if we can do this. Ball jointed antenna as an articulation. Oh well, Frenzy, transform! So, uh, uh, frenzy, and people say that studio series fix are any care to the models, but like at least the fob can say that he's the only frenzy fig that transforms, unless you count the Burger King one that simply popped out a set of legs. At least I can say that this transformation is pretty cool and inventive. Like, it literally flips the whole robot mode around so he can stand. My favorite part was for sure this weird head rotation that also flips over the half of his body. But yeah, I think you already noticed that this design is really weird. With those weird arms and chicken legs. A gigantic backpack that a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle wouldn't be... This gigantic backpack that the ta Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle wouldn't be jealous of. And this weird... Push out tube face. But other than that, he has some nice details. My favorite one are the eyes of his. With a few of them being squinted angrily. Sadly, he has minimal paint, which only consists of the eyes, the head crest, and those weird wires on the side. His disc shooting gimmick also works in this mode, you do it by pressing the backpack. Oh yeah, also the disc is painted the same color as his head. Now, in the articulation department, Frenzy is really lacking. His arms can rotate 360 as well as hinge out. He has a hinged elbow and one of his other arms is also hinged, but like, due to this gigantic back piece, it's hard to move it anyway. Like, it feels that he needs one more joint in the arm, like maybe here, so he can like bend it one way, so he can like still move them forward. 
the arms simply we feel really weird. While also like his legs are mounted on this half ball joint that can move fully forwards and backwards, but can like but can like weirdly move in and out. It's hard for me to describe it. All over this robot mode feels really weird. Like I know that it was probably hard to reproduce the tiny metallic Slenderman look that also transforms into a thing, but like, damn. Mm, this antenna also like pops out constantly, which makes him look like a telemarketer. Now I know who calls me every weekend to ask, excuse me, this record will be recorded for the sake of, shut up. Now let's compare him with. Dallas Night Barricade, Pirate the Primes, Frenzy, and my boy, Magazine Bumblebee. Final opinion, this toy is kinda trash. I personally bought it more as a curiosity. If you aren't some big movie fan, or you don't want to dabble in the weirder molds that the 07 toy line gave us, then don't buy it. Thank you all for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out all my social media, and don't forget. Frenzy is grey and Rumble is a rhino.